How are you? Good to see you again. Cooking with Baz, episode 13. Thought we'd do something like a super pache. I think I said that right, I hope so. Which is like a fish stew, something like that. These are just all the simple bits and pieces. Doesn't cost a fortune. We're talking about economics. I hope we're not going into lockdown again. pretty simple a really good bunch of marinara from a really good fish shop there you go nice and clean wash it all I have been told that you're not you're not really meant to wash fish but I like to because I don't know where it's been you know
I chopped up some fennel. This is about half of a bulb of fennel. And the yummy little green bits, those little bits. Chopped up quite a few garlic, some lovely red onions just to give it a bit of colour. Whole peeled tomatoes. Well, look at this. A sourdough baguette. Really good. Soak up the juices. Parsley and parmesan. I've made up a stock. I made up a chicken stock from dinner the other night, so I just grabbed the carcass and everything and I boiled that up and I've got myself a really yummy chicken stock. Okay, we're back over the hot plate. The rattling pan's back. Just warming it up. First thing we'll do is add the fennel. Put that in now. I love fennel. Yeah, I love fennel. Fennel, man, it's awesome. Oh, I love fennel. Fennel's beautiful. And look, it's browning. We should put some garlic in. And the garlic's all chopped up, beautiful. Quite a few cloves of garlic. If you love garlic, and especially during the winter, you know, you have to have heaps of it. Red onion, that goes in. It's just medium heat. Just trying to soften up the onions and the fennel. That's that. The weird thing is, this one requires parsley stalks. Have you ever heard of that? Parsley stalks. Parsley stalks. So this tucked in because the stalks are solid and they're not like a, a parsley leaf, they don't break down as much. And of course, you know, when you do a zuba de pochure, of course it's a tomato-based fish soup. You have to put quite a bit in there. So I'm gonna start with a can of peeled tomatoes, whole tomatoes, so I'm gonna put that in. <laughs> My homemade stock, just put that in. Not all of it. This is the fun part. I never taste anything until the white wine's been in there and reduced a little. <laughs> Let's go for half the wine. Cheers. So, a bit of reducing. So while we're doing that, maybe we can do a song, right? Billy, 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 Billy. Whoa, Billy, Billy, Billy. The biggie.
face of gold It's doggy doggy every show is good old Got to have a Jones for this Jones for that Living with the Jones in my heart Just take where it's at Awesome guys, man. I hope you're enjoying the music segments of this show. Obviously, while we were playing, this has been simmering away. Without the seafood, that would be really cool anyway. It's gorgeous. I'll put the seafood in. Here we go. Seafood in. Pull up the temperature. Because we reduced it and it's become quite a sort of a pretty heavy tomato sauce, I think I might put my stock into the original can. Swish it around a bit and add it. It's a fish soup. Lots of seafood. The prawns are going pink. Anyway, a lemon. Probably now is the time for seasoning. Let's go a bit of pepper, a bit of salt. I'm sure that we can place it. Super de peche, yep, it's there, it's ready. Gonna put it in the plates. Seafood, yum, in the plate. Awesome sauce, look at that. Oh, let's see the sauce, oh man. Beautiful, I love that. Look at that, sauce, sauce. Looks like we've got some leftovers, that's gonna be awesome. Parmesan, parsley, mix it up a little bit over the top. And chopped up baguette. Uh, baguette tea, baguette. Soak up the gorgeous juices. Here we go, beautiful, fantastic. Thank you so much for coming on board. I hope you enjoyed the music. I hope you enjoyed the recipe. We're gonna have fun with this. Cooking with Baz, we'll keep going. We'll see you next week. Bye. <laughs>